All right, we have made a beautiful little dress that Lila is uh, trying on today. And um, I started because we love this, this rosebud fabric that is on a netting base. And the rosebuds are, are sewn in circles. Aren't they cute, Lila? They're pretty. And so we wanted to make a, a little dressy dress. And Lila, turn around a little bit. And, and we use the... Um, PDF pattern Molly. See, we're just putting it together now for a fitting. The PDF pattern a Molly by Simple Life Pattern Company. And um, the, the, the girls love this scoop back. You like it, don't you? Um, Regina Karish has made a dress for Lila. Uh, last summer she made a summer dress with a beach design around the hem, and now we're doing it in a dressy design. So here, Lila, we're going to have you turn back around. And so we, we wanted... We wanted this soft look, and um, so we have this soft kind of a mauvey pink color. And then, as you can see, we also lined we lined the skirt in the same in the same uh, fabric. And so it just shows through a little bit. Can you see? You can see it, can't you? It just shows through that pink just a little bit, and it gives it a real soft look. Well, then we thought, what are we going to put around the waist? And so we have tried all sorts of things. And um, one of the first things we was looking for a ribbon that this is our number 126 satin ribbon. And we thought, well, we could put that around here. Well, we wanted a little more pizzazz. So we thought, well, we could put a gardenia on here and that would be pretty. We could put a, a bigger flower, like a big rose. That would be, that would be pretty. And then... Um, Kristen suggested that we take a, this is a um, silk organza, and so you could make a cummerbund with a sash. We could gather that up and put that around. See, that's kind of pretty too, isn't it? You like that? And we could even put a flower or maybe a rhinestone brooch or something on that. And so, but we went through the entire shop today trying to, I think next time we should start with a belt and then pick fabric to go with it. Don't you? That'll be easier. <laughs> but then we came up with this has come this way a little bit. This has a little bit of glitz. It has a little bit of um, this is a beautiful, beautiful trim on an orga organza backing. See those little rhinestones in there? They're pretty, aren't they? And so we put that around the waist and I'm thinking we might have a winner here because I know it adds a color but this kind of picks up the mauve of the top and the roses of the skirt. What do you guys think? Should we ask them to vote? Yeah. Yeah. We should ask them to vote? Yeah. You can tell us what you think. We want their opinions, don't we? That's what I think too. Which one do you like best? I like this one. You do? I kind of like it too. All right. So we'll show you when we get finished, and um, get, we're going to put some pretty little buttons on the back and put a little hem in it, and then Lila will have a spring dress, won't you? But we do have this, we do have this really pretty fabric right here, and, and honestly, it would be pretty over, even over an ivory, and it could be, uh, um, I mean, it's barely an, uh, off-white, but it could be a little flower girl dress, it could be just any kind of little spring dress really sweet. There we go.